So you're young and you want to become a millionaire. Everyone does. You see, by clicking on this video, you've already told me two things about yourself. One, you're not a millionaire. And two, you would like to become one. Every day on social media, you see expensive cars, watches worth more than most people's houses, exotic vacations and supermodels, and you want this type of lifestyle. At only 20 years old, I've built a pretty interesting life for myself, as you can see. And no, I do not come from a rich background. This means that anyone can replicate what I've done and obtain the same type of lifestyle, even at a young age. The first millionaire habit that completely changed my life was understanding that I needed to become obsessed with my goals. Every day I needed to wake up with this fire inside of me, the intense desire to do whatever the hell it would take to get what I want. Understand this, successful people refuse to take no for an answer. Most people when they hit an obstacle or difficulty, they just throw their hands in the air and they just give up because it's too difficult. But what do you seriously expect to achieve with this type of attitude? Nothing of course. Look, something that most people don't get is that succeeding is more about perseverance and hard work than it is about IQ or talent. It's about who wants it the most. And look, I'm sorry to break this to you, but if the other guy wants it more than you do, then he's gonna become a millionaire and not you. And then you'll see him posting pictures of his fancy vacations, private jets, mansions, and supercars on Instagram. But because you didn't take action, you are still in the same position that you used to be a year ago. And now this guy is having the time of his life. And the worst part is that this could be you. I know that society loves to make it look like rich and successful people have some talent or ability that the rest of us simply don't have. And that's why they're so successful and so wealthy. Or maybe you've been led to think that rich people are lucky. Well, I have good news, because luck or talent, it's not the key to success. And I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, I wasn't really lucky or that talented in any way. So growing up, I asked myself, well, how do people become rich? And how can I become rich myself? People who succeed are not necessarily the smartest, but they are the ones with the most drive and ambition. They simply keep going and they keep pushing past the point where everyone else is giving up. When you become successful, every aspect of your life will significantly improve. And the funny thing is that people will often tell you that you're very lucky to be able to live this sort of lifestyle. And publicly you might agree, because you don't want to stir up an endless debate on luck and work ethic. But deep down you know how much work it actually took you to get to where you are today. There is no such thing as an overnight success. You've got to understand that rich people are simply people who take the most action. One key lesson I learned in business is that volume negates luck. What this means is that if you wanted to become a football player, for instance, do you really think that your skills would not improve after thousands of hours of practice in the field? The more you practice, the more your skills are going to improve. In business, the reason why volume negates luck is because if you pitch 10,000 people a day, well, you're a lot more likely to sign a few clients as opposed to if you only pitched five people per day. And look, it's not about being perfect. You will make mistakes, you will screw things up, you will say the wrong thing in front of a prospect, and you will look like a fool. They will throw an objection at you, and you won't know what to say. It's going to happen. But should you let that hold you back from pursuing your goals? Absolutely not. While you're worrying about future scenarios that are simply in your head, there's another guy who started to reach out to potential customers, and in fact, he signed his first client. You don't have to be perfect to succeed. You just need to take consistent action over and over again and be willing to listen to the feedback that you receive. And I can confidently say that if you can do this, there's no way in hell that you're not going to become successful. Now the truth is that when I was a kid, I saw how every adult around me seemed to just hate their life. I observed people, they were all desperately waiting for the weekend to come around or for their vacations so they could escape from their job that they hated and forget their own misery for a moment. And I also saw those same people just lying on the couch and watching TV all Sunday and that's what they call a weekend or a vacation. Then on Monday, go back to their soul-crushing job, do that for 50 years straight and then one day die, and that's what they call living. Now tell me, how is that living? This brings me to the next millionaire habit that completely changed my life. You need to ditch the traditional path. Look, ever since the day you were born, everything has been planned for you. Maybe your parents wanted you to go to med school and to become a doctor, but they never asked for your opinion, did they? The truth is that ever since you took your very first breath, society has been dictating your role in life. You're just a pawn in the game of the people who run the show. They don't actually care about you. The thing that you've got to realize is that school was not built to help individuals to obtain a better quality of life for themselves. Just take a look at what a classroom used to look like 50 years ago and what it looks like now. What changed? Nothing. The school system was created to manufacture employees for big corporations, not because they care about educating people, because they don't. The truth is that if you want to obtain a life that 99% of people are dreaming of but will never ever get to experience, you need to think freely and to create your own path for yourself. You can't do what you see everyone else around you doing and still somehow expect that you will become a millionaire someday. Because I'm telling you, life for poor people and even for the middle class, it is becoming increasingly hard and harder as the days go by. Now everything's polluted, so you can't even drink tap water. You need to buy some, and that costs money. If you want to be able to provide for your family and for the people that you love, well, guess what? You need money for that. If you want to enjoy life, to grow, to have fun, to travel, to have hobbies, well, guess what? You need money to do that. And also with inflation, everything is becoming more expensive year after year. And with the recent lockdowns, a massive shift took place in the world. People started to open their eyes to the incredible and endless opportunities that the internet offers to literally anyone, no matter where they are in the world. Do you realize that back then, if you 
you wanted to start a business, you would have needed a huge amount of startup capital. You would have needed to open up factories, buy some land, hire employees, and much more. Now let's be real. Unless you had wealthy relatives, how the hell were you going to obtain that much money to begin with? Every day, more and more people are becoming increasingly aware of the crazy opportunities that the internet offers. All you need to do to start your own business and to start making money online is the right knowledge to begin with, a steady internet connection, and a cheap laptop. That's it. With a traditional career, if you wanted to make millions per year, you would need to get massively in debt so you could go to the best private school in the world. You would also need to study insanely hard for 3 to 10 years depending on your career choice, and then compete against 100 other people with the same degree. And let's say that congratulations, you managed to get hired by a big corporation. Well now if you want to make 6 figures a year, it's gonna take you decades of slave-like hours just to get there. And if you want to make millions, well, I'm sure that you can understand how complicated this becomes. Nowadays with the internet, 20 year olds are making more money in a month than doctors are making in a year. So not only do these lawyers and doctors work 10 to 20 times as hard as these 20 year olds running online businesses, but you also have to keep in mind that they need to pay off massive student debts. Sometimes they can even have $300,000 in student debt. So because more and more people started to open their eyes and to realize the crazy opportunity that online businesses are, more and more people tried to get started, but 99% of them failed because they don't have the right knowledge. The truth is they have no clue what they're doing. And right now I can guarantee that if you knew what millionaires know, you would be one of them. Now something that all millionaires have in common is that they carefully select the people that they let in their inner circle. I've given this statistic in my older videos, but children with two obese parents are 10 to 12 times more likely to become obese as well. And let me stop you right there because it's not entirely because of genetic factors. It's because of the sort of environment that they have. Think about it. If every single one of your friend, they take great pride in exercising regularly, eating a healthy and unprocessed diet, and just taking care of their health and well-being in general, then it's very likely that you will do too. And look, it doesn't matter if you're an introvert or an extrovert because we are all influenced by other people. Back when I was in school, I used to know people who had a tremendous amount of potential. But because they were hanging out with the wrong people, their potential never came to light in the first place. And let's be honest here, what do most people talk about these days? Instagram filters, Instagram drama, and Netflix shows? To me, it's insane that people prefer to spend their day arguing with strangers on Twitter as opposed to picking up a book on personal finances and reading it. And then those same people, they claim that self-made millionaires, they got lucky. So for that reason, you want to be very mindful of the sort of people that you let inside of your inner circle because they will either break you or make you. And look, it's not even about whether they're an entrepreneur or not because that doesn't matter. You only need to ask yourself one question when you audit your inner circle. Are these people bringing net positives into my life? Do they make me happier, funnier, wiser, smarter? Or are they just dragging me down and secretly wishing for my downfall? If they are, cut them out of your life. You will only thank yourself for doing so, believe me. Now, something else that a lot of people just don't understand is that 99% of the time, you're not stuck because you don't know what to do, but rather because you don't actually know what the problem is. Something I learned from millionaires and billionaires is the importance of asking yourself the right questions. Because think about it, if you ask yourself the right questions, then naturally you will get the right answers as well, and any problems you're faced with will be solved. So whenever you hit a roadblock or you're stuck and you don't know what to do next, what I invite you to do is to grab a notebook and a pen and to start describing what the problem is in the first place. You will see that by doing this, you will gain a lot of clarity and it will allow you to ask yourself the right questions. Now in school, cheating is severely punished. If you get someone else to do your homework for you and you get caught, your teachers and your parents, they're not going to be too pleased about it. However, while cheaters get punished in school, in the real world, they win. Why? Because successful people understand that they don't know everything to begin with. But also, why would they not hire people who can do the work better than they ever could? Does Jeff Bezos worry about making new updates to the Amazon.com website? No. Instead, he hires people who do it a thousand times better than he ever could. And successful people also understand that business is all about people. All you need to do is to give the market what it wants, and it will reward you handsomely for it. And then, all that is left to do is to hire the right talent and to harness their efforts. You can't do everything yourself. And to be honest, why would you? Especially when you can simply hire people that are going to do the work 10 times better than you ever could. In the real world, when you hire an accountant to file your taxes for you or to take care of your books for you, no one is going to bat an eye because it's common practice to do so. Yet, if you think of it this way, it's like you're asking somebody else to do your homework. But this time, instead of being punished for it, you get heavily rewarded. One more time, this goes to show you that school does not prepare you for the real world in any way. So as you can see, society loves to tell us about what is right and wrong. And ever since the day you were born, people have been trying to push a certain path onto you. Go to university, get massively in debt, then get a good job and try climbing the corporate ladder your entire life. Work 8 or 12 hours a day for 50 years straight, invest $200 a month in the stock market, and heaven forbid, never ever ever spend $5 on a Starbucks coffee. And maybe one day, if you're lucky, you will retire with millions in the bank and you can finally enjoy life. You know, when you're old and you need somebody to help you to go to the bathroom. The truth is that if you want to achieve more than the average Joe, you cannot listen to the average Joe. If you want to live a different life than the life that the masses are living, well, you can't expect to be doing what everyone else around you is doing unless they're all wealthy and successful and expect that somehow you will end up wealthy and successful yourself. This is why you have to deprogram yourself from everything you've always thought was true. Think about it. If you keep believing the things that you've believed up until now, well, what
what is going to change in your life? Nothing. In order to change your life, the first step is to change what you believe. If you want to obtain a different outcome, you need to start to think and to behave in accordance with what you want. Otherwise, your dreams will stay dreams. Now, something else that you need to understand if you want to become a millionaire is that the more value you produce, the more money you are going to earn. The average person probably spends two to five hours a day, like just scrolling on social media or watching Netflix shows. And at the same time, YouTube, Facebook, Netflix, they are becoming richer. Now, everyone is a consumer and there is nothing wrong with being a consumer. But if you want to obtain true financial independence to build a life of freedom and of abundance for yourself, you need to become a producer. Ideally, you would want to follow an 80-20 ratio, meaning 80% of the time you produce. This can be content, but it doesn't have to be. And the remaining 20% of the time, you can consume whatever you want. The reason why producers are able to make so much money is because they understand that if they want to increase their income, they cannot just always work more hours. We all have the same 24 hours in a day, and we cannot spend 20 of them working constantly. Producers are able to make 10 times the amount of money that the average Joe is making simply because they dissociate how many hours they work with how much money they are able to make. To give you an example, if Netflix produces a new show, whether a million or a billion people watch it, they don't have to put a billion times the effort. However, they sure as hell are going to make a lot more money if more people watch it. Now, if you want to start making money online, even if you don't have any previous experience in the world of business, I invite you to click the link in the description below. I recorded a free video in which I analyze every popular business model to figure out which one is the best to start for beginners. And I'm also going to share with you the three-step process that we use to help people to obtain financial independence. And with that said, I am waiting for you on the other side.